What's up guys, it's Jason with MP3D and today we're cooking on the Blackstone griddle, throwing some oil down, some chicken, got a little music rocking tonight, I'm cooking dinner for my family. On the Blackstone griddle, this thing is amazing. If you don't know about this product, you're not in the know. If you grill outside, this is something you need. Add a little water, create some epic steam. You're gonna love this thing. You can cook anything on this griddle. Everything you love, everything you've eaten, whether it's Waffle House, burger, it doesn't matter. If you love it, you've probably eaten it off the griddle. Now, so I'm doing chicken tonight with some chicken and herb, Blackstone uh, uh, spices with some soy sauce, pretty simple, trying to do a healthy uh, meal for my family. You can insert your vegetable of choice but I'm using uh, broccoli, and I'll be showing that to you in just a second. Just some broccoli florets. That I, there they are, picking them up some, block, some broccoli florets from Walmart. And uh, guys, this is such a simple, easy recipe. Um, it is great over rice, but obviously, if you're going to do something healthy, you don't want to do the, add the rice. My family, funny story, as soon as I brought it in, they're like, ah, this is so amazing. But it would, look, it would taste so much better over rice. So it's really cool. So, if you love hibachi chicken, if you love hibachi steak, if you love hibachi anything, this is the product for you. Okay, I'm adding soy sauce on this because it just makes the chicken taste amazing. Throw a little water on there, helping it cook. Flipping it around like I'm some kind of ninja with these spatulas that you'll get if you purchase the accessory pack that comes with uh, like a little squirt bottle that you can add water or oil. Guys. This thing is a game changer. It's something I love. You guys know I love gadgets. But the fact that I didn't know about this hibachi chicken griddle, or this griddle in general, honestly, I'm pretty sad. My last grill that I had got damaged in a storm, and to be honest with you, I just didn't want to buy another grill until I found something I love. My wife been saying for a while, hey, honey, I want to get you something for Father's Day. And I was like, you know what? I need another grill, but I don't know. I, there's other things that I wanted, but now I'm so excited because now that I'm cooking again, I'm super pumped. I'm thinking about things I want to make. But if you don't know about the, these uh, Blackstone griddles, this thing was only like $247 at Walmart. And with all the accessories and things that I purchased, you know, you can spend a little more if you buy. I got the breakfast accessory pack. I got this uh, six-piece accessory pack. I got a, a cover, which was like 23, 24 bucks. No big deal, but this is a super easy recipe. You have to season your griddle, which obviously I didn't do a video for that, but you can see my griddle has been seasoned because it's black, it's darkened, and that is just nothing but yummy, tasty goodness that's coming through when you eat. So when you cook bread, when you cook pancakes, when you cook bacon, when you cook burgers, all that stuff goes into the griddle and it just creates this yummy, amazing, exciting dinner. Like, no joke. I made burgers the other night. I asked my family after I got finished, how was it on a scale of one to 10? And I know you're thinking, they probably lied to you, but they told me it was a 10. And to be honest with you, when I tried it, it was so amazing. I threw the buns on there, got a little bit of crispy on there with some butter, amazing. You don't have to go crazy and cook fattening things all the time. So now I've thrown the broccoli florets on there. I'm flipping around, I'm getting ready to steam them. I'll show you how to do that. Super simple, turn down the eyes on the left, slid the chicken over to that side, and I've just got it off to the side, chilling, but it's still warm. I'm not drying it out, it's just off to the side. Staying warm, you know what I mean? Okay, now if you see the little metal thing I've got up to the front of the, skin, of the screen, okay, that's going to be what I steamed it with. I did that. I've actually, the video cut off when I was doing the uh, broccoli, but basically I just poured water over top of it, put the, uh, the top over top of that, or the little metal thing, and it creates this, this convection kind of whatever magic wizardry and steams the broccoli, something you've got to do. And that's frozen broccoli. Threw it on there. It's super easy. This did not take that long. There's another one of the accessories, a little Blackstone cutting board. You can kind of use it. It doesn't burn up on there. Adding a little bit of the chicken and herb seasoning on top. I think I added some broccoli. I'm not, I think I added some garlic and some onion powder on top of this, but pretty simple. Scooping it up, putting it into the tray. Give me some paper towels so I don't burn my hands because I had that off to the side and it got a little hot. 
took it into my wife so they can start setting up things. And then before I go in and eat, I always clean my griddle. So I'm gonna show you how to do that super easy. And I probably didn't do a great job when I do it on this time, but I'm just kind of pull everything off the side. Just be careful, things are hot. The water gets hot. Spray it down with some water, get a paper towel, take one of your scrapers and boo yeah, add that water. Okay, get you, you buy some extra little squirters for water oils and butter. You're gonna put water on there, you're gonna scrape off all the excess. Uh, in the six pack you get, you get a little scraper, you can actually take it, get off those excesses, excess uh, pieces on there, you'll see that. I get the little scraper, add some more water, turn the eyes down so the heat comes down just a little, and then add the scraper. Super, super easy, but you wanna scrape that excess off just like I'm doing right now. Push the water and things off to the side. There's a little trap there that catches all the oil and all the debris, and you scoop that, throw it off into the yard, and probably some dog or bird's gonna eat that for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Might kill your grass right there, so if you're one of those people that absolutely has to have your yard pristine and don't want a little spot there, might not wanna do that. Also, when you cook with this, might wanna wear a pair of <laughs> shorts that you don't care to get a little oil on, anything like that. But Blackstone Griddle, it's amazing. Uh, I know this is probably not my normal video for you guys, but I do want to do some cooking and show you guys some different recipes and things that you can do. But this is the Blackstone Griddle. This is MP3D. I appreciate you guys, you got, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you soon.